time since I was out uh, with the shelter in place orders and, and things like that it's been a little bit difficult to get out um, I did come out a few times by myself didn't really catch anything and so had nothing to upload but um, back out now as of sunrise today they've opened up the state parks back here I'm in uh, Jersey City in Newport so that's like the path station right there um, that's gonna be Midtown over there and then downtown Battery City Park. You kind of see the Statue of Liberty behind the, the train station if you look over there. Um, beautiful day. I'm actually kind of hot, so I may have to take off my sweater uh, in a little bit. Hopefully, you know, striper season started, so hopefully we'll catch something coming up the river. I don't know if the runs occurred yet, but yeah, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I'll be out here for a while and uh, everything permitting, maybe we'll, we'll have a good day. So as a part of my fishing trips, I've been filming the times that I go out on my own, but um, recently thought there might be a good way to capture some of my other trips with my friends or people if I'm around. Um, one of the best things about fishing like this with bait and sinker is that you throw out a line, you can have a drink and hang out with whoever's around, whoever you came with. Um, that's really the most fun part of going out with good folks. And so I thought it'd be good to start a new series uh, called Fish Tales, where I get to introduce some of the stories of the people that I go out on the trips with and, and also maybe do little mini interviews with them and about their lives and the interesting uh, things that they do at work and, and with their family and things like that. So yeah, stay tuned. Maybe I'll even throw some of my own stories in. So the tide is out going right now looks like shouldn't be but oh what do we got here just heard it hit sometimes I mean if you can kind of see the swirls in the water that's going out towards the bay um, a lot of times I mean it's supposed to be an incoming tide according to the charts but uh, I don't know why it's heading out towards the sea. Um, right now the current's going this way. My line is right out this way and so uh, they're actually, it's actually taking it out towards the bay. I put a four ounce pyramid sinker on it. I think it might be a little bit too heavy for this pole, um, this telescopic pole. Sometimes when you have it out on the current like this, oh, that might be a hit. I think it is. I think maybe something might be nibbling at it. Or it could be that something like a twig or a branch or something might just be hitting it as, it, as the current goes by. Something's nibbling at it. I mean, I have circle hooks, so I gotta kind of let it let wherever it is hook itself. I mean, it could be a crab too. Completely did not feel a thing.
Wanted to show this. There's definitely some crabs down there just chomping on the on the bait. I just caught that hake. So there's some fish out there too, but it doesn't look like um, it looks like the same old fish, you know. Got some parasites on this guy, right? It's a bunker. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> All right, buddy. All right, buddy. Come on. <sighs> ew, ew, ew. That's crazy. Wow. Well, I caught a broccoli. Huh? I caught a broccoli straight <laughs> out of the Hudson. I'm serious, I just pulled it out of the Hudson. It's crazy. I caught a broccoli. Did you see me catch this broccoli? I just pulled it out. I was like, what is it? No, it's a lot. It's like the most random one. <laughs> <laughs> 